Valentine's Dainy. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this makeup look that I have on today. It's very pinky, very rosy, very Valentine's Day y. And my last video that I posted was more so what I would wear for Valentine's Day, but this look is more inspired by Valentine's Day. So very rosy, very pinky, very mauve -y tones. This would be good for Valentine's Day or just for any day that you're doing something and you want to wear pink. So hopefully you guys enjoy this and if you guys want to see this look, then just keep watching. All right, so we're gonna get into it. My eyebrows are done and my eyes are already primed and I'm gonna be using mainly the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I've had this palette for so long and I haven't used it in such a long time. Um, so I'm gonna start off with the color Tempera. I'm going to just highlight my brow bone with it. So starting off, I'm going to pick up the shade Bonfresco, Bonfresco right here with a fluffy brush. This one specifically is a Sephora crease brush. And I am just blending that into the crease. I want this to be a very like mauve -y eye look. I feel like I need to add a little bit more pink in this transition because it's just a little ashy so I'm gonna pick up whoa this ColourPop eyeshadow in Flower Boy on the same brush and I'm just gonna use it just to give the look a little bit more pink that's better now I'm taking the clean brush this is a Morphe M531 and I'm just using that to blend this eyeshadow is huge or this eyeshadow brush is massive but I really like it for blending everything out. Now I'm gonna pick up some of this shade called Love Letter right here. It's like a hot pinky shade and I'm gonna pick that up with a Morphe M519 and I'm just gonna start pushing that. We're doing something outside, but it's really loud. And I'm going to work that into my crease, keeping it lower. And I'm more so inspired just by like the colors of Valentine's Day, not so much like this is what I would wear for Valentine's Day. I don't normally wear like pinky eyeshadows, even though I do like them. Um, this is just, it just reminds me of Valentine's Day because it's pink. So I'm just going back into that love letter shade just to intensify and make sure it looks nice and pink. And just picking up the blending brush. And blending now I'm gonna pick up the shade Venetian red and I'm gonna mix it a little bit with red ochre and I'm gonna put that on the very outer portion of the crease but I'm going to build it up so I'm working on just patting it up first just to really really make sure that it's nice and intense there and then with a small blending brush this is the morphe m513 I'm just going to connect that into my crease. Alright, so now we're going to cut our crease. And I don't really cut like my whole crease, I'm just doing like my inner crease. If that makes sense. I'm going to use this Morphe M421. This is like a concealer brush. It works perfect for cutting your crease because it's a really stiff brush and it's pretty small. So I am going to tap this on here. And I'm using my tart, my tart Shape Tape, by the way. And I'm cutting it across. But I'm not taking it too high because it's just... That's not realistic for me. If you want to take it high, take it all the way up. But... For me, I just, I don't care for that. And I'm gonna feather out the edges just so there isn't like a harsh line. This actually looks really similar to the look that I did for Christmas for the squad party, but I promise it's not the same. All right, and I'm only gonna do one eye at a time. So now I'm going to pick up the shade. This is a single shadow from Anastasia. This is the shade Pink Champagne, one of my favorite Anastasia shadows ever. It's like a foiled, pinky, delicious color. And I'm picking that up with this Bodyography Pro Brush. 
and I'm just going to pack it all over my lid. It looks like foil. So I'm just gonna wet my brush with some spray and dip back in. And we're gonna go back into this color and just pack it on. I'm going to go in, I kind of want to go into a color just to mesh that together. I'm going to pick up the shade Love Letter that's right here on that same bodyography brush. And all I'm going to do is wiggle it in between the shimmer and the crease just to make them meet a little better. Now we're going to go in with some eyeliner and I'm going to use the Inglot Gel Liner in the number 77. I haven't used like gel liners like this in such a long time that it like makes me nervous now. I'm surprised I did that so easily. I haven't used a liner like this to do a wing in such a freaking long time. Now we're going to prep our lashes for some lashes and I'm going to use the Dame Boss Lashes in the style Gold Digger. We're going all in. So I'm going to put some mascara on and put these lashes on and then I'll be right back so we can move on to complexion. So lashes are on. These are dramatic. Like these are not for the, the weaklings. So we're about to move on to complexion and to prime my face I'm actually going to mix these two right here. This is the Becca First Light Back Priming filter which is really good for hydration it gives you like a really nice luminosity to the skin so I'm gonna put that on first and now I'm actually gonna take this shimmering skin perfecter in Prosecco pop just for a really nice glow underneath my foundation and I'm gonna bounce that in with this sponge Prosecco pop is really gold um, so it's gonna look really nice underneath my foundation because I'm tan. Like, look at that. Not that I need any more attention on my forehead, but just bouncing that in for a really nice glow. Like, look at my skin. It looks wet. So I'm just gonna... Spray my sponge with some hydrating mist and I'm going to actually try out I got a sample we're gonna be real here I got a sample of the Bobbi Brown the new Bobbi Brown foundation because I wanted to try the new NARS one and the new Bobbi Brown one to see which one I liked more to possibly purchase so I have the shade 5.5 so I'm gonna try this one out just to see how I like it okay so my battery died in the middle of me putting the foundation on but I finished putting it on and I think I like it so far um, it's not as heavy as I thought it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be a lot thicker and a lot more like full coverage but it could be because I didn't put a lot on so we'll see how I like this but I do know it's very sticky like really tacky on the face but we're gonna go ahead and move on to concealer and I'm gonna use my ColourPop no filter concealer this is in the shade medium tan gonna conceal and highlight this will probably oxidize to be like the exact color as my skin to be completely honest but I like this shade for like a natural highlight Now we're going to set the under eye with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I've really, really, really been liking this a lot. Like, I'm thinking I want to get more than this shade just to have for my kit because I really like that they have a shade range um, rather than just one shade of translucent. I'm 
and I really like this powder a lot. Now to set the face, I'm pretty sure you guys don't even need me to tell you what this is. And I'm using this crown brush that we got in our BoxyCharm. It doesn't have a number or anything. It's honestly way smaller than anything I use for powder, but my brushes are drying because I washed them yesterday, so I don't have a powder brush. So we're just gonna use this as a powder brush. This will probably be really nice for bronzer. I actually want to use an oldie, which is the Becca and Chrissy Teigen palette. I used to freaking love this palette. I haven't used it in a while. But I'm going to go in with a bronzer, which is called Malibu Soleil. I'm just going to use that same brush because it seems like it's pretty good for bronzer. This is such a good bronzer. If you like a reddish toned bronzer, you'll love this. And this brush is really good for contouring. Like it didn't even take work and it just did like the I'm gonna use a little bit on my hairline. Oh man, I forgot how much I like this bronzer. I haven't used it in since I was in Aruba, which is a while ago. For regular bronzer, just to bronze up the skin, I'm going to use this brush, this Morphe M530, and the Physicians Formula Bronzer, just to kind of blend this one out. Clearly, I went strong as fuck. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the Fit Me powder and I'm going to use this angled brush. I haven't used this in forever called the E47 and I'm just going to cut right there. And right there. We're just going to let that sit while we move on to the rest of the face. For blush, I'm going to go in with this Tarte blush in the shade Exposed. This is a very, very popular blush. Um, like in the beauty community and in Sephora and all that. It's just a really nice mauve color. And it doesn't do too much to the cheeks and you can really, really build it. Um, just because it's not a super pigmented blush, which I like. Alright, I'm just going to blend this out. For highlighter, what did I grab for highlighter? I think I was actually going to use the same Becca. Yeah, I'm going to use the same Becca palette and I'm just going to mix these two highlights right here in Rose Gold and Beach Nectar. I like these because they're more of a like pinky highlighter, but they're not ashy, if that makes sense. Like they're, I guess because they have so much of like that peach color, they look really good on the skin. So I'm just mixing the two of those together and just... Popping that on the cheekbones. And I'm bringing it to the front because I really like this color as a blush topper. Like, as you, it's so pretty. And I'm just going to soak my face in this. Just so that all the powders set. Now I'm going to go underneath the eyes. And I'm only going to use two of the colors that I use. I'm only going to go in with... Love Letter and Bone Fresco, the two pinks, just because I don't want to do too much on the lower lash line, but I do want to smoke out using that same like pinky tone that I used up top. And I'm also going to use the shade Vermeer, I guess it's called right there and I'm going to use that in my inner corner. This is a really intense inner corner highlight for anyone that likes that. I'm just making sure I really blend it so it doesn't stick out. Now for lips, I'm going to go in with this Real Her Lip Liner in the shade I Am Loved and I'm going to top it off with the Dose of Colors Truffle Liquid Lipstick. So 
some mascara. Guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I really like the way that it turned out, even though I'm not a big, like, pinky shade toned person but i really really like this and this is something that i would definitely wear so i hope you guys have a good valentine's day me and tyler are actually going to go out to dinner after he gets out of work it's going to be pretty late but we're going to go out to dinner and that's pretty much going to sum up my valentine's day so i hope you guys have a good valentine's day whether you're spending it with someone spending it by yourself make yourself look pretty dress up real cute do it for you and i'll see you guys in my next video bye